Hey, what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I've got a really cool tutorial for you. I'll be showing you how you can run the brand new Android L operating system on your PC. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download the emulator onto your computer, and to do that, what you do is you just search for Android SDK on Google, and the top result is the one that you want, is Android SDK at the developer Android site. So just go to the big link, download Eclipse ADT with the Windows Android SDK for Windows, click that, and it should automatically take you to a page that gives you the license agreement for the SDK, everything in here makes sense, so you can just go ahead and accept this, and then download the version of the Android SDK that corresponds to your computer. So if you have a 64-bit computer like I do, click the 64-bit option, or if you have a 32-bit computer, click the 32-bit one. Then just go ahead and click download, and it'll start the download file. It's 354 megabytes, so it does take a while. I'll meet you again when this is done downloading. Alright, so as you can see, the Eclipse ADT bundle installer is now finished downloading, so what I'm going to want to do is just go ahead and show it in folder. So right now it's just in my downloads folder, and as you can see, it is zipped. So to actually run this, I'm going to want to go ahead and extract the files using WinRAR. If you downloaded the unzipped version, you can just skip this step, but for me, I'm going to have to, you know, extract it because it is the zipped version. So again, if you download the zipped version, this can take a couple minutes, so again, I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead so you don't have to watch all this boring stuff. Okay, so it is now finished extracting, and it's now created a folder in Downloads with its same name, ADT Bundle Windows x86. So I'm just going to want to go there, and if you get an error message like this one, it's okay. Sometimes it'll it'll have problems with the actual download, but once it's actually finished extracting, it'll work just fine. So go ahead and open up the folder where you decided to extract it to. Go ahead and click into it. The next step is just to open up the SDK Manager, and you can do this by double-clicking on it. It might take a couple seconds to open and even once the program is opened it has to do a, a number of things so wait for it to finish loading all of its different files and its different things so when it says it's downloading packages that's when you want to click the two ones that you want to install so let me go ahead and show you which ones those are okay so you want the Android S SDK platform tools one and then you also want the file that has Android L API 20 L preview those are the two ones you want you really don't need anything else you don't need any of these ones because these are just older versions of Android, and you can, you can also download Android Wear if you'd like, but again, you don't have to, so it's really up to you. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and download all these just to show you how it works. So then, once you actually select the ones that you want, go ahead and click Install 12 Packages, or however many packages you have have selected. Alright, so it'll come up with the this this page. As you can see, this is just a license agreement page, so you, again, you have to accept this license for the developer preview, uh, basically the emulator that allows you to run Android on your computer. Computer, so just click accept that and then click install and then it'll actually start downloading the different files that you wanted So this does take a little while because this is a lot of stuff that you're wanting to actually put onto your PC So it, it could take up to like 20 30 minutes again I'm just going to uh, pause it right here, and I'll meet you again when it has finished um, Downloading all of these different files and extensions Okay, so as you can see, it is once again downloading packages, so that means I have actually done this successfully. One thing I should mention, even if you don't want Android Wear on your computer, you may still have to download two of these files. You may still need the SDK platform, and you also may need the Android Wear ARM EB V7A system image, and I'm not even sure why this is. Even if you're just planning to run Android L and not Android Wear on your computer, you still need these for it to work properly. So if this is the first time you've actually done this on your computer, go ahead and make sure that you install those packages as well. So I guess that's about it. Let me go ahead and show you now how to actually run Android L on these files that you've now downloaded. Okay, so you've now done basically everything that you need to do to get this working on your computer. So the very last step is to actually create the device that you're going to run Android L on. So to do that, go to the Tools menu up at the top and click Manage AVDs. This stands for Android Virtual Devices, and basically what you're doing is you're creating an Android Virtual Device that you'll actually be able to experience Android L on. So go ahead and click Create over here at the right, and it'll come up with a list of uh, things that you can actually customize about the device. So name 
it whatever you want. I'll just call it Android L device, uh, just to make it really easy on myself. Um, as for the device, you can select any of these choices, and personally, I'm just going to go with a Nexus 5, because that's probably what most people are going to be running this on. Um, go ahead and click whichever version you want. If you downloaded Android Wear, you can run that, but I'm obviously running Android L, since that's what, we, what I've decided to do. Select the CPU you're running this on, so you can choose whether you're running it on Android TV, or an Intel Atom processor, or just an ARM processor. I'm running this on an Intel processor. I'll go ahead and choose the skin that you want. I'm going to go with no skin. The front camera, you can choose whether you want it to be emulated or the actual camera that's on your computer. You can choose how much RAM you want this to take up. If this is your very first time creating one of these, I would definitely recommend choosing some amount of RAM, 512 megabytes or under, because otherwise this might not run smoothly, and that wouldn't be too good. Just leave, go ahead and leave the internal storage at 200. It just sort of makes sense. And then, if you, again, if this is your first time, click Use Host GPU, because that'll basically just make it smoother. It'll actually make it run better. And if you, if you have used this before, oftentimes you can customize it to where it'll uh, run optimally on your computer. But this is just sort of a good standard setting that you should use most of the time. So with that said, you basically got all your settings ready. So go ahead and just click OK. And again, once you click OK, it might take a couple seconds to get this to run. But yeah, now that you've actually, now I've actually done this, it comes up with this menu, my results of creating this. And I've now got my Android L device in the list of options. Okay, so now that it's in your list, all you have to do is just go ahead and open it. So just click on the actual device that you just created, and then click Start. And then you get uh, an option to adjust the size and everything. Just leave it the way it is, and then click Launch. And then it might take a couple seconds to actually start this. You'll get it to open in a window, and it'll take uh, I, I'm not, it'll take a number of minutes to load, so be patient as this is actually booting up. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and cut ahead to when this is actually launched. Okay, so it is now finished loading. I have now got a working Android L emulator on my computer. So don't be worried if while you're opening it up, it does come up with a couple of errors in here. Like as you can see, it says it failed to open the device, it's not working, and different things like that. But as you can see, I've got it open, so don't let those things scare you. As you can see, if I click on, say, all apps, it'll actually open up the all apps page. And right now, the loading times aren't optimized, so I, ca I can't actually that just yet. But you know, as I use this more, I'll be able to customize this more and actually make this work so as you can see it's now running Android L on my computer you can easily just make it do that too on your computer just the way I've done and yeah I hope this has been helpful I hope you've really enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you know what you you guys are doing with the Android L emulator once you install it so again thank you for watching this video please sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you thought it was helpful and I will see you next time bye